Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can build a Tesla's homepage right here in Wix Studio. If you don't know what Tesla is, Tesla is a major electric car brand and their website is actually custom coded. But I would argue it's actually much easier to build their homepage inside of Wix Studio. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the Tesla homepage and as you can see, it's very minimal and very clean and I actually really like it. And it's actually pretty easy to create inside of Wix Studio. So if we switch on over to Wix Studio, you can see that I've already built the header and I've already kind of created like their footer, which just has a couple links and some legal jargon. But let's go ahead and start with the first section. The first thing we're gonna do is add a background image. So we can either add it here if we want to, or we can come over here to the add panel, go to media, and we can find our image, which is for this first section, it's gonna be for the Model 3, and we're going to stretch it. Now, if I grab the breadcrumbs and go to the section itself, what I want to do is set the responsive behavior for this section to fit to screen. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make this entire section the exact height of our user's device, which is exactly what we want. The next thing I want to do is actually grab the header because I want it to be on top of the next section. So we're gonna grab the header, scroll down to position and set the position type from default to pinned. Now what that's gonna mean is when we press preview and we scroll down the website, the header is going to follow us. On Tesla's website, they don't really do that. So another alternative is if I grab this container with our header in it and I hide the header here, I could then go ahead and just paste in the header container on the page, center it and send it to the top. So that is another alternative, and that way it won't follow us down when the user scrolls. The next thing we're gonna do is grab a container. So we're gonna go to Quick Add, Container, drag it out onto the page. Let's go ahead and remove the background color and we're going to stretch it. But now what I want to do is add a little bit of margin to the container. That way we make sure that our content doesn't interfere with our header, doesn't get too close to the sides or the bottom. So for the top, I think I'm gonna do like, 150 pixels, something like that should do. And then for the left, right, and bottom, I'm gonna add 5%. Now with this container, if we take a look at the website, we're gonna have some text here at the top, and then we're gonna have two buttons at the bottom. So if we go back over here, what we're gonna want to do is split this container into two rows. To do that, we're gonna come over to layout in the inspector panel, and we're going to apply a CSS grid. Here, we're gonna choose the layout, the one by two. And then just for fun, let's add like a 64 pixel gap just to ensure that no content ever gets too close. And I messed up when I added the margin first, but typically when you add a CSS grid, it typically resets the margin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply that really quickly. Great, now let's go ahead and start working on the content. So the first thing that we're gonna have is model three. So we're gonna come over here to the ad panel. We're gonna grab a title. We're gonna bring it up here and we're gonna say model three. And I'm gonna set the responsive behavior from scale proportionately to hug. I'm gonna center it and send it to the top. The next text is gonna be the price. So from 216 a month. So what I'm gonna do is actually just copy and paste this model three text. Then we're gonna grab the text element and we're probably gonna lower this down to like 24 pixels, maybe even a little bit lower. Let's see what 18 does. Is that big enough? Yeah, I think that's perfect. So we're gonna bring this right underneath the model three text. And then last but not least, we're gonna grab a little paragraph text. We're gonna change the text. We're gonna underline this part. And just like we did with the text above, we're gonna set the response behavior to hug. And we'll lower it down to maybe like 14 pixels. Perfect, and we'll bring this right underneath, make sure it's centered. And then I'm gonna grab all three of these elements using the shift key and clicking the elements. And then we're gonna stack them together. Then I'm just going to remove the spacing in between the elements. I think that looks pretty good. But actually for this one right here, we might wanna add like four pixels. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. The next thing we need to do is work on the buttons. So what I'm gonna do is come over to add. I'm gonna grab a button, bring this down onto the page. Now, if we look at the buttons, we're gonna have order now and demo drive. So I'm gonna change this one to order now. And what I want to do is style this button really quickly. So what we're gonna do is come over to corners. We're gonna add like eight pixels of rounded edge. Maybe that's even a little bit too much. So maybe we'll go down to like five. 
We're gonna make this a little bit longer and we're gonna change the font to Gotham Medium. Now for this button, it is gonna be white. However, the next button is gonna be black. So what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this button, bring this over to the side and we're gonna change this text to Demo Drive, perfect. And now if we come back over to this button, we can change the background color to white and we'll change the text to our dark gray slash black color. Now I'm gonna use the shift key on our keyboard and select both of these buttons, stack these together. I'm gonna to give it an 18 pixel item spacing. And then we're going to center the stack and send it to the bottom. So this is gonna be our section design. Now all we have to do is use the breadcrumbs and select the section, or we can come over to the layers panel and just select the section and we can copy and paste it. Now that we have a copy of the section, all we have to do is really change out the content. Now we don't need a header in this section, so I'm just going to remove it. And for this section, it's gonna be the model Y. So I'm gonna change model three to model Y, and I'm gonna change the pricing options here. And then we're gonna change the background image. And I selected the wrong one, so we'll make sure we select the right one. Perfect. Now let's keep doing this for the model X. So we're gonna duplicate the section. Let's go ahead and change the background image to a model X, and we'll change the price. Perfect. And I noticed I accidentally put this in the wrong position. So what I'm gonna do is just drag the section underneath the model Y, perfect. Next, we're gonna duplicate the section and now it is time for my dream car, the model S. So what I'm gonna do is change the background image to the model S and then we're just gonna simply change the text. Now, one thing about the other sections you may have noticed is that we use black text because it's on a light background. On this one, we're on a darker background. So what we're gonna do is grab all of the text elements and we're gonna change these to white text. And now we're gonna duplicate the section again. This one is gonna be a little bit different because this one is going to be for the Cybertruck. So, so let's go ahead and change the background image. For this one, it doesn't actually have text up here. It actually has their Cybertruck logo. So I'm going to delete this text. I'm gonna come over to the new media icon here and we're gonna add the Cybertruck logo. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller, bring it up here into the container, make sure it's in the top grid cell. We're gonna center it and send it to the top. Now for this one, the buttons are actually a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is unstack these. I'm gonna delete this one right here and we're gonna change this text to say, learn more in all caps. Let's copy and paste it. We're gonna drag this one right here and this one's gonna say order now. And for these buttons, we're gonna change the text to be a little bit darker, to be like a darker gray. Let's do that with this one as well. And then above this order now button, there's actually a line. So what I'm gonna do is kind of snap this to this. Okay, and then this one is set to 250 in width. So we're gonna grab this line, set it to 250 in width. And we're gonna do change the color to match the text. Then we're gonna shift click the button, stack these together. And then we're going to grab the other button and we're gonna stack these together as well. And we're just gonna make sure we have the item spacing here and we're gonna send the buttons to the bottom. Now, if we go to the layers panel, what I want to do is I want to duplicate this section up here and then we're going to drag this one below the Cybertruck section. And this one's gonna be for their solar panel. So what we're gonna do is change the image to solar pa panel image. And we're gonna change the text and we can't drive solar panels. So we're gonna change the button text to say, learn more. Now we're gonna grab this section and we're gonna duplicate it for their solar roof. And we're just gonna change the text really quickly. And last but not least, we'll change the image here. Now, as you can see, we need to change our text elements to be black here, so they actually appear on the lighter background. Then we're gonna duplicate the section again, and this one's gonna be for their power wall. And it doesn't have any text underneath it, so we'll just delete it. And then we'll just change the background image. And now we just have one final section to make. So what we're gonna do is duplicate this last section. And we're gonna change this top one to say accessories. And it only has one button here, so I'm gonna unstack this. I'm gonna delete the learn more button. And for this button right here, we're gonna send it to the middle and bottom. And we're gonna change the text to say shop now. So if we preview the website, we can now see how we built the Tesla homepage inside of Wix Studio. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.